How are you doing around for your outfit custom? It's fucking Baltic. You see, that foggy morning, it was warmer than it is now. It's beautifully crisp and clear out there, but it's fucking freezing. And we're on a few bits and bobs. We're sorting out a few bits and bobs this morning. Yep. So let's see what we're up to. So, this is the uh, the drive-in. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up because I'm getting glared out by the sun that's trying its best to burn through this fucking fog. <coughs> but here we go. There's a fucking pile of stuff that appeared out of the fog. <coughs> Scary shit, ain't it? Definitely be taking me time this morning. First up, we finished prepping the Triumph. I can't see it, look. I've called it back up. It's washed, it's cleaned, it's oiled, it's fucking lubed, it's chains adjusted. Fuel system sorted, I had a problem with the fuel lines. The new fuel lines have been fitted. And uh, I'll pop a little video of it running, ready to rock and roll. been graciously donated a length of shaft which is going to come in very very useful the only problem is it's a cunt to pick up it's fucking heavy so I'm cutting it in eighth let's see how big it is I'm not measured it it's just chunky isn't it I'm hoping it's 60 or so because then I can use it for bearing cups 60 up oh 14 point something, that's not right is it? That's zero them out then. Oh, I think it might be 62. That should be gracious. Bear with. It's not always easy to do one handed, especially when you're cold. So we've got 14 again. This ain't working is it? Third time's a charm. Get to there. Oh, zero it this time. That'd help. It'd help if this would focus properly as well, wouldn't it? But how big is it really? 63. That's fucking happy days, that is. I might be able to use some of that on our Carl's fucking early gird look. For here, I reckon I can use some of that for our Carl's here. Well, a bit of a glow going on. I hope the camera's not fucking foggy because it's in the case. We're going to struggle to clean it. Yeah. So we're just cutting that off so it's in a manageable situation and then we have got some little toe pegs to make out of aluminum and aluminum once we've had a coffee and a warm up like we're going to do a bit of tapping and knurling and seeing what's happening there oh, knurling tools in So we just need to cut the section of this <coughs> aluminum off I think we'll have a little bit more I don't want it's over a metre I don't want that flapping about in the tail stuff no. We'll put this off and I thought I'd use my hacksaw because the band saw is busy. I do like using my hacksaw. It cuts it off in a way that's just perfect. Right, so that, you don't know I'm filming and if he sees this, he'll fucking hopefully laugh because you're about to see Ray and Elvis in the fucking plaguey pig I ain't even fucking joking with the Suzuki GS550 in it and the frame on the fucking roof and they're going back to Birmingham which is an hour and a half hour and 40 minutes away from here like so there you fucking go I'll keep it short because I'll try and blur out his fucking number plate because he might not right oh, I know so just gonna run a test I'll probably end up making those pegs 
I'll do a little drawing and show you before I start, but I just want to want to test and see how well it takes a canoe. We have a we have a couple of options for a canoeing tool and I want to see which one it favours. This stock is the right diameter, so I've just faced it up. Broke that edge. Give it a quick clean with a bit of greasy fucking Scotch Bright red prep pad. It's the term, isn't it? It's Scotch Bright fucking pad. Uh, and we'll try knurling tool number one. Right, this is knurling tool number one. So it's a wibbly wobbler. I've set it to centre right in the pivot there. And it goes a little something like this. Look. So let's bring it in. Yeah, so you, you kind of get it about where you want it and then you wind it in and you can apply pressure this way and then you move it along left to right. So, let's check, see where we're at then. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just spin it up slowly. And I'm looking for front and back contacts, which I got instantly, which means that it's not right on the piss. If it were right on the piss, I'd only be touching one side or the other, not both. So that's a good start, ain't it? Yeah. Wind it on, give it a bit of fucking... They like the lube and they also like to grab your fucking brush, so unless you want that looking like that, look. You've got to be careful. I didn't do that on purpose. I actually didn't do that on purpose. And let's give it a bit of fucking... lefty right, eh? And see what kind of finish we end up with, so... Nice and slow. Nice and slow traverse. Mr. Alfit. We will come along to about there. Take the pressure off and have this out of the way. I don't know if I've got any wind in my sails. Oh, a little bit. Not quite enough, but you know, that'll do. What's that nail like? Fucking hell. I think contestant number one gets the job I might start here and run off I'm going to chamfer that edge and I think there's a bit there with no I need to look at the sketch I've been sent the picture I've been sent sorry so that contestant number one looks pretty good right, quick adjustment needed it's 16 mils not right it's fucking 15 so I've machined that down to 15 the old test end and we will turn that off so I don't hurt myself and we'll come at that and see how we get on, eh? Like so. So we know we're square, pretty much. We'll wind it in until we see a complete pattern on the knurl. Give it a good squib and send it and see how it turns out. I reckon this will be just as good as the 16. You're supposed to match up the diameter of the workpiece to the diameter of the wheels and so on and so forth far more important when you single point uh, knurling if you like when you're putting straight lines in it but it still matters when it comes to stuff like this so let's just finish this test cut and have a look so we'll stop it there and wind it out fuck that off give it a blow and I think is that wrong with that it's not getting neutral it might be a bit one way ever. It might be a bit leading that way a bit here. If we worked from there out. Looking at the, the picture that I've got for the footpegs, they're completely nailed apart from where the end's cleaned up. So maybe we could have that on the cleaned up bit. Not sure. We'll see how it goes. Either way, that'll do nicely. <laughs> First things first, we're going to face up this end. Yeah, like so. Happy days. Let's get that edge broke. And get ready to drill it 
and tap it out to M6. So I'll just move you around a bit. Right, oh. It's fucking hot. Everything's cold this morning. You know when it's all st stiff and cold? No, I don't mean like that. That would be shrunken and cold. Be able to yourself. Get a bit of thick cutting, cutting the lube on. I've run out of brushes. So, we're using it direct. Direct from source. And we're going to uh, centre this and then we're going to drill it out to 5mm. And we need a depth of about 40mm. So, I've marked, I've shown you before, I used, is it, is it a rule? Graduations on the quill of this tail start and we set it at 10 because zero it's ejected at all so we start at 10 and we line up the edge of the drill with the edge of the hole and we just take it in until we see 50 in this case which gives us an actual depth of 40 so the tap itself is about 35 long so clearly well as getting you knocking you about sorry about that so we take that down to a depth of 50 like that a little chamfer just take the thread yeah that'll do don't forget folks our fuck stock stickers are now available in our etsy store link in the description below fuck stock you know it makes sense now nah, a bit of lube on machine tap got rust on the end there that can't be right must be a, a bit of detritus from a previous job. Anyway, we've got that nicely slowed down. Plenty of quill out so we don't crash. And we'll take that curly whirlies away. Look, cut lovely, doesn't it? This aluminium's nice. So we'll have that as far as it'll let me. Which is... That'll do. That'll do there. Knock this old gel in reverse. Make sure everything's loosened off and send it. Sorted. So back into forward. I'll give that a blow off. Happy days. Right, now we've pulled out enough stock to work on to do the machine it down and knurl it. And I'm not, if it was a precision part, I might be worried about deflection with this bit of alley. Probably not. There's not enough sticking out. But it's a toe peg. So we're not that bothered, I need to speed it up, we're not that bothered about it being absolutely cock on. So let's uh, the set, you know, the, the bolt like, we're not bothered about a thou here and there. Just fucking touch on there. That's showing 16, I don't think it is fucking 16 actually. I think it's 15.78. So, oh six nine, fifteen point seven. So x equals fifteen point seven. Enter. It's not worked. Hold on. X x equals fifteen point seven. Enter. Right. Now we want fifteen on the money. So we go there. And although it's aluminium. It still likes to fucking drop a loop, doesn't it? As we all do, don't we, at times? You know what I mean? So, we'll send this. And that should be happy days. Right, with that done, we're gonna just break that edge. We don't want too much of it. A chamfer on there because that's where it mounts on the control light. We don't want it looking fucking gappy, do we? We'll just break that edge and we'll change the tool out that you can't see me doing proper because this is slightly off camera. Slow everything down a bit, and I said I'm going to send it that way. You know, so. Just check my feed and speed. Yep. Now what we're gonna do is snug up here, look. Close to the fucking vices, chuck, chuck. Vice, fuck me. Ooh, fingers are out there. You should turn it off when you do this, obviously, but I'm fucking safety third, so. 
So we just give that a bit. Just give that an oomph. And then we're going to send it off the end. Give it plenty of looby doo bit. Just, it is cutting. Although it's like a crush operation, that is actually cutting an earl like. So we'll go all the way to the end and see how that turns out. Bear with. I know, wind that out, knock the feet off, fuck it off and have a look, let's have a look. <coughs> Bear with. Oh yeah, I like that. That's just what the doctor ordered. So now we need to part it off. I'll change my tool, oh fucking hell, crash into the job, sorry about that. Let me move you up and out of the way a bit. Here we go, look, so we're in here, look. We'll change that. The parting off blade. And we'll come along. These need to be 60 mil. So we'll eyeball that with a rule is more than fucking accurate, you know. 60 mil there. And we'll lock off our carriage. Lock the carriage, sir. So, now we can part this off with gay abandon. Come on, come on. And then we'll dress the end that we're just cutting now. And that's one down, one to go. Come on, you fucker. There we go, happy days. Right now, with those made, no, we've gone to the poor man's collet fucking chuck because I don't have a collet chuck for this lathe, they're like fucking hen's teeth. I know John lad over at fucking Double Boost got one, but I've been looking in. I've not seen one, let alone seen one that I'd have to give fucking one leg and a kidney for, like, so I'm using my collet block, my six-way collet block. That'll do nicely. That holds in the three jaw, just right, sorry about nudging you. And we'll tighten that onto there in due course it only needs to be snug we don't need to go mental what we're going to do with this end is first of all face it up and then give it a chamfer so get that tool in Ooh. put it back in our gear and here we go now we'll just get rid of that nipple just, we don't need to see that do we Get rid of that nipple, and now we'll just get that end of right light little face up, all the way across, just a touch, off, cheers then. And now we'll come back with the old, slow it down, come back with the air fucking 45 lot, the old whatever that is, WNM fucking G or something. I don't actually know what it is, so if you do, let me know in the comments. Give that a touch. There we go. They were quite extreme on the example I was showing. So I've done them quite extreme. I'm just going to dress that a little. Give it a little tickle up. With a scotch bright look. And that is one down, one to go. So let's have it out and see what it looks like. There we go, it's unmarked, they call it oldest not marked the knurling, which is why we didn't just put it in the three drawer because it'd have three dents in it. And apart from being dirty, it's 60mm long, 15mm diameter toe peg, knurled from back to front right, from left to right, whatever. Been a nice chamfer and a nice clean end. Happy days. And there we go, look. Just screwed a bolt in to give them a clean, give them a spray down, a bit of brake cleaner, blew them off. Who oh, it misses? Nice work if you can get it. Two alley foot pegs, toe pegs, really, ain't they? Toe pegs, 60mm long nerd, 50mm diameter with an M6 thread. Cheers, then. Thanks for coming. There you go. That's those little foot pegs made. Yeah. Next video will be our Carl's Hong and Sports. We'll carry on with that. If you've seen the series so far, then join me. 
for the latest update. It just leaves me as always to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Check out all the bumps in the description below and I'll catch you on the next one. Big love everyone. See you soon.